welcome back to the channel and uh, in this video we're going to be going over comms and comm setups. Uh, this is going to be a two part video so first we'll go over uh, my setup and why I have it set up that way and in the second video we'll go over uh, some SOPs uh, and things for operating comms and procedures basically. So uh, let's get into this video. Alright guys, the first thing we'll do is uh, talk about the radio. It's a bail fang. Um, I can't can't remember which one it is. Uh, it's their dust, basically their dust proof radio. Um, it was orange as you can see before I painted it so that it wasn't so bright. Um, I do have a uh, extended battery on here. Um, and I have an upgraded antenna also. Just this antenna allows me to uh, transmit a little bit farther and uh, this radio pushes I believe it's uh, 8 watts, at least that's what it says it is. Probably pushes a little less, probably anywhere, maybe 4 or 5 at its highest, but I've transmitted through 2 miles of uh, dense woods and uh, decently uh, elevated terrain. Um, this radio does basically everything you need to do. I have a bunch of program channels into it um, so that none of them are actually listed numbers. There just says what channel is channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or, and so on just for protection in case the radio ever gets found. Obviously they could plug into it and probably get that data out of there but it takes time for them to do that so basically give us a little bit more time to protect our information. Um, then I just run a real easy slim small pouch on here. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's not a big radio, but it lasts a good long while. And then I have a, uh, a push to talk up here, a speaker mic. And I just run that cord on my back. And this has a, um, let's see, it's a, like a mic jack in here. And I plug that into my Howard Light Impact Sports, which I'll grab for you and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so then here I got my Howard Light, Howard Light Impact Sports and these have a uh, an aux plug on one side, which is sweet and I, which this is obviously a little bit ridiculously long for this, but it's extra cable in case I need it, in case I actually have my rig off for some reason and I just need to hook up to this and still be able to have comms while I'm maybe laying in a position somewhere where we're not in high risk, but do still need to have noise discipline. Um, it works perfect. It, I think it only actually makes noise into one side of the the headset, which is fine, because it still gives me hearing out of my left ear, or my right, whatever side I have it on, but usually I'm gonna keep it on that side so that it just comes down and plugs right into it, which is perfect. Plugs right into the side, and I can still transmit. I had to dig around to find a couple different, try different uh, PTTs because some of them uh, would not allow me, when I plug this in, would not allow me to actually use it. It wouldn't let me transmit. Not sure why that is. Maybe some type of interference with this being plugged in into that was messing with it. Um, but uh, this one works. Works pretty good. It's better than the one that comes with it. And the clip is just much nicer and it doesn't fall off. It's not going anywhere. My other one just fall off and yeah, that causes problems. Um, probably looking into better radios eventually, but these Biofangs are good enough for uh, our small um, team communication. Um, looking at getting the HF setup, which I don't run the HF setup. That's another one of the, one of the guys in the crew who uh, is one of our new members that uh, he's in a start running uh, HF radio in his kit here eventually so that we can communicate over long distances with other uh, groups across the country and also gather information and intelligence on the other side of the world which with HF which in the 10 meter band or I believe it's 10 and 2 10 meter and 2 meter band I don't really know too much about it but I've done a little bit of research um, which radios are basically a fantastic form of information gathering and especially a time like now and also to reach out to other people who are uh, in the community and do the things that we do. So, yeah, this is a quick little video for you guys to just show you this. This is part one and uh, look out for part two. Please like, comment, subscribe and uh, love to see you guys in the next one.